Hi YouTube. In this video, I test Blender's Flip Fluids add-on to see if the pressure solver inside of the add-on is accurate enough to use for engineering problems. If this works, I can use this add-on for much more complicated simulations in the future. To set up the first scene, I add a plane to act as the floor and give it some thickness, and then I add a cube that will act as the boundary of the fluid simulation. For this simulation, I'm going to make a cylinder with holes in it to demonstrate fluid pressure head. So I make a cylinder, remove the top, and then subdivide it to give it more detail to work with, thicken the cylinder, and then I start to remove planes to make the holes. And then I seal up the holes that were made in doing that with new faces. For this model, I made three separate holes to demonstrate the difference in pressure based on the elevation of the water and the holes. Keep in mind that this mesh is all one solid piece, and if it is not, this will not work. So here I started to bake the fluid simulation, and you can see it acts a little weird. It wraps around the side. That's because the resolution was too small, and I bumped it up a lot, and now you can see the fluid looks a lot better. So a quick look shows that it's basically working as expected. It doesn't clip through anywhere, and it comes out of the holes at kind of the rate you would expect it to. So once that looked good, I set up some extra lighting to make the scene a little better. I added an orange juice material to the fluid and a glass material to my cylinder. So you can see as the fluid drops, the um, speed and pressure of the fluid coming out of the holes decreases. And here is the render. And this is telling me that the program is accounting for the pressure head properly, meaning all the weight of the fluid above each hole is taken into account to determine how fast the fluid comes out at each hole. So this is a good sign for future simulations that need this type of pressure calculation. So now for the second scene, starts off the same way, fluid boundary and a, and a floor with a thickness to it. For this one, I'm just going to have a plate with a hole in it that we push down into a fluid that's already there. So there I'll add the fluid, add some random materials just for a little extra fun. So now it's time to start the simulation. Here I'm just animating the plane dropping. And I didn't use a simulation for that, so there's no gravity, it's all just keyframed. And you can see that in the first run, it didn't calculate the fluid properly, and actually the resolution was probably too small, so the fluid particles were able to clip through the plane. And that's why it kind of just bubbled right up through it instead of only going through the hole. So I made the plane thicker and then increased the resolution of the fluid. And then here I just adjusted the animation a little bit to make it look more smooth. Now you can see it doesn't clip through anywhere and it kind of shoots up out of the hole like you would expect. I actually duplicated this file and made one with a slightly different animation just to see how the speed of the plate falling would affect the fluid. And in the final renders you can see that it does make a bit of a difference. But what this tells me is the program is able to use um, external forces to affect the pressure in the fluid. So between this and using the fluid pressure head, I will be able to do some really cool stuff with stream flow, flow under bridges. I can demonstrate how bridges actually will float away from where they were originally and a whole bunch of other cool ideas. Those will be coming soon. Thank you so much for watching.